Okay, we've got Joe Gallagher in the studio, who's just beaten Gunai Mamadzada. Tell us something about the game, Joe. Yeah, it was a struggle. I played, um, it was a knight off bishop e3, and I played knight g4 on mid 6, which I haven't played much in the last 20 years or so. She was very surprised by it, but I was actually one of the original players to play it back in probably the late 80s. And I wrote a big article for New and Chess, and the line became popular. So I have some history in the variation. And um, so I prepared it this morning. I don't know, I just want to play something surprising, my opponents really. And we had a position on move 16, 17 with a peace sacrifice, which can end either in a draw, still complicated, but, or it, she can go into an ending with two pieces for a rook and two pawns, which is a bit risky. Mm -hmm. And that's what she did. She played, well, I mean, she quickly got in some trouble. I think I was just completely winning. And then uh, I made probably a mistake and time trouble, and maybe she could draw, she'd draw in chances, but. I managed mm. to get into a three pawns against bishop, just no other pieces. And even though I put all my pawns on white squares, they were basically going through. Okay. She couldn't defend. Yeah, okay. So. Right, let's have a look at the game then, Joe. Okay. Okay, Joe, let's have a look at your game. So, yeah, I played queen d4. I don't know what's the best here. This was the end of my prep, basically. Yeah. It looked, you know, unclear. And she played bishop d3. Now I was wondering, I had a choice of rook f8, which I played, or knight e5. Knight mm -hmm. e5 was interesting because she can go um, bishop b5 check, and then I can take, and after queen d4, I've got knight takes f3 check, winning back the queen. Mm -hmm. So if we go back, instead of bishop b5 check, she can also go... Yeah. She can also go bishop g6 check, and now mm -hmm. I mustn't take, obviously, because then I can't, yeah, I don't have, have to cheaper. fork. <laughs> yes. But after, after, so instead, of, I didn't play knight e5. Yeah, I would go king e7 in this position. Yeah. And it's probably, but it's a mistake, bishop g6. That was just a fun variation. Yeah. So uh, I didn't do this because if we go back to move um, to bishop d3, I didn't play knight e5 because maybe she goes bishop e4. And I wasn't sure in the ending how it was. I thought, why should I go for an ending here now? I'll go just play rook f8. So I played rook f8. f8, yep. And I wasn't sure. I mean, she decided to sacrifice another pawn and go for get developed. So it was quite interesting. She castled and I took on, took the pawns. That's right. Yep. She played knight e3. Now I didn't know what to do with my king. I didn't really want to have it on a white square because there were many tricks with that. Uh, yeah, she posed. Yeah. So I did, or castles as possible. But I calculated a long line and I went for it. And then I realized I'd made a mistake in my calculation. <laughs> so she played rook b1, I believe, was it? Yeah, king g2. Oh, king g2 first. Oh, yeah, because if she moves her rook, for example, if she goes rook e1 or something, I can play a rook takes g3 and knight e5. And this is rather tricky with friendly knight f3 check and yeah even yeah i mean this is good i mean even if yeah. after rook b rook c1 i can do this i think so she didn't do that she yeah. played um, king, g2. king g2 rook f8 and then she played rook b1 b5 and she played rook c1 now i had a long thing i'd miscalculated in the variation originally i'd planned to play rook takes g3 check here. Yeah. Rook mm -hmm. g3 yep. takes knight e5. Oh, sorry, yeah, wrong yeah. way. It has a life of its own. Knight e5, rook c7 check. Sorry. Rook c7, oh, yeah. king d8, queen a5. And I thought I could play queen takes e3. And I thought there was no, um, no, no good discover. checks, but then I realized that after rook g7, King e8, she's got bishop takes b5 check. And that's the end of the game. <laughs> so I, <laughs> that's I, a shame. I, I managed to spot that in time. <laughs> Otherwise, it's probably winning for me, that position. So yeah. if we go back to move, yeah. Um, yeah, so I played my reserve variation, right. which was knight b4. So now she's got, I mean, it's a good line, knight b4. I should probably have, I wasted time on that other line. I yeah. should have just played knight b4 because. Yeah. Because it's a decent move. It's a anyway. decent move. It stops yeah. things. I didn't yeah. see, I don't know now. We were short of time. So the game yeah. went, she played rook c3. I played knight d5. There's other moves as well. I don't know, but this looked good and safe. 
takes. I think she's got to take. Queen takes now. King G1. Now I played Queen D4. I don't know. I could have. I repeated once, yeah, I wasn't sure there was many tempting moves, but I ran out of time. So I went for um, oh, that is, but yeah. one of the tempting lines. I took on G3. Whoops. I took on G3 and played Rook F3, and now, well, she's got a few problems here. She has yeah. to play King H2, and then Queen E5 is very strong. Maybe there's other moves. I haven't really had time to look at it. But now I'm threatening to take on G3. She played Queen G2. Only move for now. Well, I've got many moves, but I should I can just take on G3 and then take on C3. Yes. And if Rook C7, I've got King D8. So I get four yeah. pawns for the yeah. bishop. Should be winning quite easily. But I overlooked. I mean, I ran out of time. I went Queen E3, which looked even stronger to me. Mm -hmm. And then I realised she's got Bishop E4 or Bishop E2. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just a blunder. Oh it's typical yes. of my games, really. So now I can't do anything except exchange. Exchange the rooks. Take the rooks. And she took with a queen. Maybe she could take with a bishop. I don't know. I don't know if that's, you know, it's probably better for black, but it's not easy anymore. I mean, I played d5, I suppose. Her bishop's very passive. Yeah. But that's another game. But she took with a queen. I wasn't sure. And then we're in time trouble now. So it's difficult to so you... I exchange queens. I thought this is probably the best chance. And I thought I'd activate the king straight away. Her king is far. So she came with a king to g2. And I played, well, I don't know if this is good king e5 or not, maybe. And she played bishop g4 to try and stop me playing king d4. And I played b4. And then uh, king f2, a5. I mean, so I've always got this b, a4 and b3 tricks coming. King e3. I just played d5 because I can always get d5 and e5 in this. So she can't stop that. So she went, she waited, king d3, king d6. Uh, maybe here she might have made a mistake. I don't know. She just gave me a tempo, which might be I'm losing. Maybe, she, I don't know if she's got time for bishop d1 here. Right. I yeah. mean, bishop d1 might be drawing. I don't know. To yeah. stop a4. Play, okay. Well, anyway, I think yeah. Bishop D1, I think after what she did, she's just lost. She played King D4. Yeah. She just gave me a tempo and I play, now I play E5. Just and then that. I play E4 so that this is a pass pawn. Yeah. A4, Bishop D1, probably only now B3. And now if she takes A3, obviously, and if she yeah. goes King C3, I've got D4 check. So Nasty. that just comes through. So she played A3, maybe she thought this was okay, but now she's in Zugzwang. Right. It's like a, she can't move the bishop because of b2, so I just wait with king c6. <laughs> and she's forced to move it. She can yeah. do things with a pawn, but if she plays h4, take, it's take, and it's actually very easy because my king is a square. My uh, king hasn't got a square in some lines. That's why she almost had chances. Uh, but, yeah. So she's got no move. So she went king c3, and now king c5 is smaller. So I'm coming forward, bishop h5. Now d4 check. She has a choice here, but I think King D2 loses at once to um to um something. I can't remember what. I think B2 or E3. Sorry, D4. D4. First, and then. Yeah, and probably just E3. And if King D3, then just B2 and D3 check and E2. Just they go straight through. Yeah. yeah. I don't need anything. So, so she played King B2, but now my king comes in, so it's all over. King, king just yeah. comes into. Here, and she can't. See she don't need to sit around. She stopped. So it was interesting. I made a yeah. mistake, but it was quite a good game. Still came overall. through. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, good so, stuff. Thanks yeah, very it's much. It's nice to beat the young ones. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Victor Caution or your former teammate. It's well, I'm not as grumpy as him. <laughs> <laughs> still time, yeah. Still, still time. time, but yeah, I mean, no, he was he's grumpier than me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks. Okay. Much.